Hello and welcome to the third episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, in part two, we rocked the train, and that was awesome. So I'm looking forward to seeing what part three has to offer. So without any further ado, I guess? I don't know if that works or not, but let's get straight into it. I'm really looking forward to exploring the city, because I know it for part one we were in the snow a lot, and part two we were just getting to Horseshoe Overlook, I think it's called, in Valentine. And I think in this episode we're going to be exploring the actual city and interacting with NPCs. And I'm really looking forward to that because I've heard there are a lot of random encounters in this game, like with strangers and with, you know, just people that you meet on the side of the street and people in the city. So I am extremely excited for that. And let's see what happens. But I have to say, the game just looks beautiful. Like, I mean, it just looks so natural. You guys feel what I'm saying? Like exactly how it would look if you were to just leave your house and go walk into the wildlife or something like that. It just looks so natural and so pretty. Alright, we have arrived. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so... Yeah, we should probably he head into the city now. Bring Pearson animal skins. Oh yeah, could do that. Not sure if I have any animal skins, but... Oh, okay, so I see. So all the yellow circles are our main missions, basically. Oh, he's made a stew! We can eat! Might do that, actually. Morning, Arthur. Let's get some... Morning to you, sir. Let's get some... Let's get some meat. Why can I not get anything to... Oh, there we go. Let's fill up with the, with all the nutrients for the day. We have to wait a few days? That sucks. I mean, at first I thought you could just have a stew every day. Damn, look at Alfred just chugging that down. Come on, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's you. Damn old Driscoll. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. <laughs> Don't do this, please. I told her it wouldn't make much of a meal. Please stop. I wouldn't sleep too deep if I was you. For the love of God, that's enough. Don't forget about me. I'm starving. Damn. Oh, there is cold. Anyway, we should probably head towards our mission now because I'm excited to explore the rest of this game. Now I see a U symbol there. I'm guessing that's the main mission. Let's head there, shall we? See what see what the game has to offer. Oh, he's taking a nap. Ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. Hey, 
<laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, yeah. Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. All Out right. through the trees here, then take a left. I have to say, the transitions to the cutscenes and then back to gameplay, it's just done. So smart. Like, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just so smooth. Because because once you interact, like, for example, when I interacted with him, then Arthur got off the court, got, got off the horse, kicked him, and then the cutscene started. Like, it's a just smart way to make it seamless, you know? Like, to get Arthur into that position, and then start the cutscene. Because I feel like so many games skip that part in the middle, and it makes the, the gameplay seem more chopped up, right? Not as well. Hey, Sing us a song. <laughs> Alright, all right, here we go. Let's see the vocals. Lumbago. It's very serious. This man ain't got no. All land. right, I'll see what's what going on. Lumbago, did he say? Lumbago, oh, yeah, no, really? Lumbago. My ass. All right, got there, no. friend. Lumbago. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Get your goddamn horse. Right, let's get this fellow's horse, shall we? What horse is it? Hey, easy now. Calm down, come on. Whoa, now, easy, easy. So I'm walking towards the horse, and the horse is walking away from me. I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. Okay, he's stopping now. Stay calm. Come on now. Nice and easy. No, don't do anything weird. Get on, get on, get on. Get on the damn horse. There we go. So I could return this horse back or I could just steal it and make it my horse. Thank you, ladies. It was very difficult. It was rough, I can't lie. It was tough to do this. But it's done. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Well, look at me. Just... Uh, I'm what you call an no, honor honorary citizen. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a saint. heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Just Woo! gonna impress the women. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. 
Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. <laughs> all right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Damn, Morning. this dude is a savage. That was rough. So, Morgan. what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. What exactly am I off to here? Hair pomade. You not getting anything, coffee? Arthur? Uh, How about I don't if we're going? Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. To bait. That could definitely so, be useful when hunting. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Talky well, bird. That's a ripe cheese, all right. Wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind a bit of gin. All right. I think yeah, if he's done that, then we'll have to... Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. 
Boy, you better get your ass whooped. You can... Damn crawl, I can't get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking to... Get your hands off of her! Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch! Hey! Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Move, boy. You don't want You're it. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. You don't want these I hands, boy. I ain't doing this with you right now. You do not Go want Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You don't want it, man. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Okay, well, that's when they went to the hotel. Must be this door. Just... Come on, try and help people. I, I can I help you, sir? Can manage. Are you doing all you can? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. All right, to be upstairs. Now, a man and a woman in a hotel. What kind of things could I possibly see? No trouble now, please. Nah, too late for that now, buddy boy. Room two B. What's two C? No other rooms up there. Two B must be this one. B. I'm getting what I paid for. That don't sound too good. Hey! Who are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I, I paid for nothing. I think you can do it. Oh, what the hell are you doing knocking? here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Wait, hold on a minute. Keep investigating? I hope uh, everything's killed. okay up there. Everything's fine. After Man, you. Arthur's got a mean override. Overhand, right. Thank you, Arthur. Knockout punch. Bang! I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey. Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just one word, that's oh. all. Just One word, it. and that is it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Just one word, sir. That is all oh, I would no. like to have. I promise you I'm not going to shoot you. I don't know how much of a promise I can make, but I promise to try to not shoot you when I find you. If I find you, actually. Oh, God, I think I'm losing him. Oh, no, I'm not losing him. Let me see if I can get my... Oh, there terrible. we go. There's the last one. I'm running out of force stamina. Oh, no. Help is he dead? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Now that is what they call karma. Please! Do something! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. 
I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, <laughs> me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I made he a mistake. Me too. I'm sorry. Do I help him up? Oh, see, I'm not going to hold on here. much longer. Oh, interest of conflict. I, I need can't. to kill him. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, how did I lose honor? He's the one who lost. What? That makes no sense. Oh my god, see that? See how the rocks fell down? Oh, that was cool. Remember, physics in this game is something else. I mean, like, at this point, I might as well shoot it for good measure. Just to make sure it's okay. Alright, well, that's that. Come on, girl. friend oh you really were just borrowing it appreciate it that's an awesome detail they put in there you, you can just borrow people's horses who knew hello there right let's see right who's got mouths to feed huh Give them so one i'm guessing this is like the main city they've got here Okay, so you can interact with people by just holding L2 and and talking, I guess. We got There's a big yellow bridge, I'm guessing it's in here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? <laughs> Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Arthur's got negative views. Well, I must man. say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Come on, Where's Arthur. Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Make it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we oh, have our Here comes the boy. Oh. Here comes the ballroom boy. Oh. Come here, you. Oh. Oh. Come on. What you got? Oh. Come on, bang! Mike Tyson, come on, Arthur. Unleash the I'll inner animal. Get out of here! Ooh, that was Floyd right there. Pull we'll counter. Pull we'll counter. Come on. Uh, uh, let's go. Right, left, right. Ooh. Who's next? Who wants these hands next? Come on. Who wants it next? Bang! Oh Don't shit. Tommy, stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. This dude looks huge. You brought up my cage enough. Yeah, I get my cage, you son of a bitch. Come on. You're messing with the wrong man. You're messing with the wrong person right here. Get out of here. Ooh. Man, we can deal hold on, with hold these fellas. Let's get on to get my hat. I got him, I got him. Oh no. 
Floyd made with the star, come on. Ooh, pull, pull, count up. Ooh. Be so pretty oh, oh, oh. Hit the you left. Hit. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, Arthur, come on. Right, keep your hands up. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, oh God. Just Hit that. Get him with the right. Ooh. Come on, we're gonna have more power than that. Oh, no. Come on. Break free, come on. Fight like your life is on the line, because I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Come on. Hit it with that. Stop telegraphing, Arthur. Come on. You've got to be better than that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, Arthur. Oh. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Break, break, come on. You got to drink something. <laughs> come on, i got to beat his ass now. Beat him. Bang. One more. Huh. Bang! Bang! Oh, this man's face is changing. Oh. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <Damn. clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. That was rough right there. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very Trelawney. same. Oh, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right, we ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Oh, man, the transitions to gameplay are just so good. I absolutely love it. Now my face is clean, sure, but look at my clothes. My clothes are terrible. I mean, is there some place around here that I can take a shower or do I just go back to camp and change clothes? Because this is terrible right here. Come on, Arthur, I can't have you looking like a scallywag. Oh, that is nasty. Ooh, we got a gun store in here? We got all kinds of things here. Hey, friend. Let's, let's greet some people. Hello, mister. Howdy. Say hi. Hello, mister. Oh, I gained. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a drink. Mister. I'm parched, you idiot. Hey there. Hi there. Beautiful. Give a Ooh, stranger. Are you okay. following me? There's no way I'm giving that guy any money. I'll have a look and see what the stranger's all about. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. 
It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He Ooh. once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Well, that was awesome. Let's so fucking flick these and then get some notes. Last reported sighting of Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach too dangerous for me, a biographer. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we completed the main mission. Met a stranger. That was pretty awesome. You know, I'm really liking this city. You know, it feels like a real city. I mean, oh, well, I've got to say, I'm definitely going to be banks. heading there. You don't want to point that at me. No, I'm not. I had enough of this. Relax. All right, who's behind this ruckus? Everything's fine. I was just leaving. I reckon it's time you were gone. What do you think? Okay, okay. I'll be on my way. Very good. You must have done this before. Keep going. Okay, not what I wanted to happen. Now it says wanted move along, so I think all I gotta do is just, well essentially move along. Now if I get out of here, I'm pretty sure I'm still not wanted, right? Okay cool, okay okay, right. Because for a small crime like that, I think all I've gotta do is just defuse the situation and move along. But obviously if I shoot someone, if I like, you know, commit murder. It's a lot more serious and I'll have to, you know, flee the place or, you know, something like that. Or, or actually, from what I've heard, if I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken, if you wear a mask, and as long as they don't find you, you don't get a bounty on your head. But if they know it's you, then you get a bounty. 
so pretty sure I gotta use the tomato. Tell us his dog doing. Stupid mutt. Stupid little mutt. Barking at me, can't leave me alone for three seconds. I'm really liking this city, I have to say. I'm just interacting hey, with people. Hello, sir. Hello, my time. Say hi to a bunch of people running around town. I'm pretty sure we can't climb up on the roof. Well, I mean, up this probably not a parkour expert. But it's cool though. We've got a general there. store. I think those are the stables. You've got a hotel. You've got drugs. I mean, you've got a, a saloon. You've got a general store. You've got the most important place in the entire city. Hey, partner. The sheriff's department. I mean, what's there not to like? You've got church. Oh, I think that's church. But this is the perfect city to stay at, in my opinion. Another saloon? There are plenty of people who are getting their hair cut here. One's not enough for a small city. I mean, I do have to say, I I'm loving the game so far. I'm just loving the graphics, to be honest with you. I mean, I've said it so many times, but the game is just beautiful. It looks natural, right? It looks exactly how you would expect it to look in real life, almost. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, guys, on that note, that's probably going to take us to the end of of part three so in part four we'll be continuing with all the other the, uh, the other main missions and hopefully we'll get some stranger missions as well because i'm loving those and especially those random random interactions you get i'm really looking forward to those speaking of stranger interactions Oh. You got this. Who else wants some? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Oh god, what did I get myself into here? What did I do? Wait, I shoot that guy and people just casually walk out like it's a Monday? There's two dead people here! Actually, I'll take your hat. Because I really need a hat. That looks half decent, actually. That looks terrible. Wow. Two dead people and nobody cares. This is the perfect city. <laughs> Alright guys, now on that note... That's the end of part three, and I look forward to seeing you guys in, in part four, where we um, we keep going with the main missions, and hopefully some stranger missions, and hopefully some random encounters as well. I love that part of the game. It just makes it seem just that much more authentic and real. So yeah, it's been Hash Brown Gaming. See you guys in part four.